Book One, Chapter Two. Among the Helvetians, by far, the most noble and wealthy was Orgetorix. He, in the time of Messala and Piso, being consuls, having been led by desire of kingship, created a plot among the nobility and persuaded his tribe or his state that that they should leave from their borders with all of their supplies. He claimed, there's an understood verb of saying here, claimed that totiri imperio totius galii, that to take hold or take possession of all of Gaul would be easy since they, the Helvetians, stood in front of all others with respect to strength or courage. He persuaded them this thing very easily, or rather easily, because the Helvetians were contained by the nature of the place from all sides. On one side, they were contained or surrounded by the very wide Rhenus River or Rhine River, um, by the very wide and deep Rhine River, which divided the Helvetian plain from the Germans. They were separated or were uh, <coughs> contained on another side by the very high Euromans range which is between the Silkwani and the Helvetii. They're contained on the third side by Lake Lomanus and the Rodonis River, which divides our province from the Helvetians. Because of these things, it came about that, that they wandered, that they both wandered less widely and that they were able to wage war on their neighbors less easily. And so, men desirous of making war were affected by great grief. However, on account of their, on account of the crowd of men and on account of glory for war and bravery, they were thinking that they had narrow boundaries, which in longitude or length spread out 240 miles and in latitude or width spread out 180 miles.